When I was little, my grandma had a snow globe that she would bring out each Christmas. She would shake it up and I would sit and watch mesmerised as the glitter and snow settled on the winter scene below. As well as thinking about what it would be like to live in a cute snowy village, I also couldn't help thinking about how the globe was made. How did the house get in there? And how come the liquid and snow didn't drain out? Why did the glitter and snow gently fall instead of dropping more quickly? Well, that old snow globe had an accident, so I'm here today to try and make a new one. And here's how. You'll need a jam jar with a lid, some glitter, I picked up some biodegradable glitter from a craft shop, a small Christmas decoration or an ornament, a glue gun uh, and some glue sticks, water and glycerin or light corn syrup. My glycerin pot came from the baking aisle. Let's begin. First of all, you need to glue your ornament to the inside of the jam jar using the glue gun. If you unscrew the lid and get your ornament, you need to pop a little bit of glue on the bottom. Make sure that you use an adult if they're nearby because it can get really hot and push it down firmly on the inside of the lid, like so. So we don't want it to become loose when we shake the jar later. Take extra care doing this bit and make sure that if you're finished with your glue gun, you turn it off, but we are going to need it in a little bit. For the next step, we need to fill the jam jar almost to the top with water. There we go. And then add a small bit of glycerin into the jar. If I can unscrew the lid, that would help. There we go. And then we need a good sprinkle of glitter. I'm going to go for gold because it's with my Christmas tree, so it'll look like snow. Sprinkle that into the top. I'm going to go for lots of glitter. Lovely. Okay, fab. I've used about five to ten mils of glycerin in this one, but the more glycerin or light corn syrup you put in, the slower your glitter will fall. However, if you add too much, the glitter clumps together. You can always experiment with how quickly the snow drops and be a scientist for a day if you made a whole collection to look at time and test. They also make great gifts, so see if you can make them in your friend's favourite colours or with your family's favourite animals in the globe. Now we need to seal the jar and make it watertight. Make sure that you've left your ornament long enough that the glue's dried, mine's looking good. So we're gonna do this, we're gonna screw the lid onto the jar, make sure that it's definitely sealed, and then we're gonna glue gun around the edges. So again, it's hot, make sure you can uh, get your adult to help you if you need. Leave it to dry for 10 minutes, and then we should be okay to turn it upside down and shake. You can hide the lid by adding a colorful ribbon and some stickers or sparkles too. I've got some buttons here, and I've got some ribbon. I'm going to get my scissors. When using scissors, make sure you're careful or have an adult on hand. If you pick up your jar, you can see how much ribbon you need by rolling, whoops, rolling it around like an Andrex puppy, that's it. And then giving it a chop. Again, you'll need your glue gun here. Mind your fingers and pop some blobs along the ribbon. Then, attach it round the base of your snow globe. You could get some tartan ribbon. I've got a lovely mint green one, so that when I put the bright red buttons on, they'll pop. Put some more glue on that. And see, maybe you can put one over the join, so it covers that up. Uh, my Christmas tree is quite central in the middle, but you can also stick things nearer the front side of your snow globe um, and perhaps have a front and a back. But we could pop some all the way round. There we go. I'm going to put three on there like that. And there we have it. Your very own homemade snow globe. Keep it for yourself or give it to somebody in your family or somebody special for Christmas. Perhaps even decorate an entire windowsill with them. The world is yours to decorate this Christmas. And if you fancy trying out some other Christmas crafts, 
like homemade eggnog or a gauge to see how naughty or nice you are, head on over to Santa's STEM workshop online to find all the free downloadable activities you could ever need there. And please do share your creations with us using the hashtag SantaLovesSTEM. Have a lovely one and a happy new year.